All right, uh, I'm uh, back on for what I think is the fourth video, part three of this war. Uh, doesn't really matter, I suppose, since people are either watching every episode or getting tired of me talking and just playing the game for themselves. Uh, but it is interesting to watch other people do this. I hope uh, more people will do some Let's Play videos and such. I'm not really... Um, trying to teach people how to play the game, though. I'm just playing it and they can watch. I assume most of the viewers are going to be people either looking to see how fun the battles are, or uh, people who just aren't in the beta yet. And maybe even some people who are in the beta, but uh, want to see how someone else plays the game. I play it with archers. And it's really hard to level them Boy, are they worth it. Alright. Oops. Oh well. It's a pretty good front line still. Alright. How many more attacks? Oh, that was the last one. Okay, well I should have ended the video there, I guess. Oh, yay, they have more armies to send at me. And I'm noticing a little bit more chainmail in each attack, so that might have just been their uh, scouting parties, like you often find out in sci-fi movies, where they defeat some giant mothership, and then at the end of the movie, they, they someone says, you know, that was just one of their scouts. And everyone looks super defeated, because obviously the battles aren't over yet. Okay. So now I can start doing some stuff here. Alsa, Novice Spear, Novice Spear, Arvin, Apprentice Mace. 22, yeah, that's what I thought. This one is supposed to go to the town. Uh, who else do we have? Novice Spear only has 36 health at level 2. Level 1. How do I have a level 1 unit in the game? See, I, all my units are supposed to train at level 2. So I'm not really sure what's happened here. They must be really old units. Nothing wrong with that, I suppose. Hmm. This guy is still wearing leather, I notice. Yeah, there it is. Okay, it's really hard to see if you have items when you have bows. They should do something to make them more visible. Because I have a U longbow here that I didn't even know about. I remember getting it, but then I thought it just didn't appear uh, in the uh, It just appeared in the loot and it didn't appear in my inventory. But it turns out I actually did have it this whole time. It's an interesting turn of events. So I'm going to kick out this novice spear. Actually... Yeah, Master Longbow and Lady Irene, far more valuable than two spears. No offense to the spears out there. Ha, ah, yes. Don't use the road. Why Why would you go along this road here? That That's going to be the exact same move time to this location. Although... You still should use the past of least resistance to get there, because now you're going to get there with zero moves, whereas this way you would get there with an extra two moves. And since these guys are moving on your outpost, you kind of need to hurry up. But whatever, I'll just let them take the outpost. I'm starting to get annoyed because I've been playing too long, and all the joys of the game are wearing off, and the cold, cold hard realities of war are starting to sink in. Uh. I'm going to have a lot more battles to fight. But I get 50 gold per turn on normal tax rate. That's one of the things I've noticed is the late game has a good balance of gold because you have so much population if you're doing well. Uh, and it really separates the uh, uh, kids from the adults as far as uh, who has a good enough empire to survive. Like, uh, I have a pretty small empire. I've only got uh, four town, four cities. Uh, so, it's not that big. And obviously, 
you can see Gildan and Capitar have much more powerful cities and probably get double or triple this in gold. Uh, but uh, I'm still able to compete uh, because I do have enough cities. And actually, I'm going to have to start taking a lot of their cities or else these battles are going to start going in the other direction. Uh, but first, I have to take these three points here. And before I do that, I have to take uh, the Elizabetta's army. Elizabetta. It really should be Elizabetha. Uh, and General Caritas's army, which is the worst army that General Caritas is fielding right now. I don't know what the logic is there. I think it's uh, just a logic error, really. Okay, so I am one, two, three, four, five, six moves away. And I would have gotten there if it hadn't been for move penalties. Kind of have to maneuver this around to get it to work. You can't really see where all the roads are. Also, roads should become more visible when they level up. But these current roads, I think it's just a leftover art from War of Magic that they might fix. But it's really hard to see where the roads are at. You have to put the game straight at vertical. Not everyone has a middle mouse button. Uh, although I do. So Master Bow... Hmm. I don't really know what or where to defend or where to send troops because I don't have any scouts. The Gildan won't let me in their territory. And as soon as I started going to the Captar territory, they declared war on me. So it's a pretty good indication of exactly how scouty you can get. I think the AI should make special exceptions. Oh, okay, here's an interesting thing. They got I have another minus five to diplomatic relations because they say it is time to unite the world under us. In other words, they think that they're powerful enough to seize power. And that's why they went to war is because that ambition is rising. And then Kingdom of Gildan has a vastly more powerful uh, army. So they're getting minus four uh, just because I'm so weak. Uh, which, you know, is actually probably really good gameplay. I'm not complaining about that. Uh... Although I reserve the right to complain about it if I lose. Yes, that's exactly where I wanted you to go. Right next to the city. Great job. Misclicking can be pretty brutal in this game. Generally, it's more brutal. Oh, yes. Go around. Go around the unit. Why would you go through the unit? That wouldn't make any sense. Uh, misclicking and falling off of a road because someone's already on the road... It's actually usually more detrimental to your gameplay than the actual enemies you're facing. Another thing that's dumb is they have an extra slot here. They should be putting a hero in this group when they attack. They have vastly better chance of winning if they use a hero. Alright, well, it, it seems like they wised up because General Caritas realizes that he's not taking the cities that he thought he was going to. Uh, I assume what he thought is he would take back uh, Yolan Town and Radenfall, and uh, then his northern unit would hit my outpost, and then he would be able to take New Hollis in the following battle. Uh, from the north, and I wouldn't be expecting it from the north, I'd be trying to retake uh, Radenfall from the south, and then he would catch me by surprise. I assume that's what the AI thought. I'm not even sure if they know where my cities are. Uh, but they probably do. I'm pretty sure Frogboy's been fixing stuff like that. Frogboy is Brad, if you're not really too up on who is making the game. Uh, but you can watch their videos to find that crap out. Uh, basically, Brad Wardell does the uh, the AI stuff. And it's actually pretty good. Despite all the flaws, this is still better AI than anything I've fought in uh, 
Age of Wonders or Masters of Magic or Heroes of Might and Magic. All the magic games pretty much have crap AI and they rely on multiplayer like every other game in the world and just pretend like AI is impossible, which it isn't. It isn't impossible to make good AI. It just takes a while. Actually, I don't know how Brad does it because... Oh, crap. I didn't see these other archers here. Oh, frag me. <laughs> okay, never mind. They attacked the, uh, uh, <laughs> the city militia instead of uh, my archers, which is the dumbest move they could ever do. Right as I was talking about how good the AI is, they make, like, probably the biggest mistake of this war. Uh, that was awesome. Yeah, okay, so, maybe not better AI than Age of Wonders, uh, Shadow Magic, but, uh, still, really good AI for a beta. Uh, I wasn't in the Age of Wonders betas because I was too young. Didn't really know what a beta was. Uh, except for the fish. I did have a beta fish. Alright, back to the battle. Uh, once again, large numbers of pioneers. Uh, this late in the game, if you're building pioneers, you're going to lose the game. Because you don't need pioneers. The only reason I built pioneers is because I'm planning a hostile takeover of those wildlands. And there's no way that that's what they're planning. Uh because they're not prioritizing the wildlands, they're trying to siege a city. And the AI should be able to realize that that is not going to work. Uh, but once again, I think it's a problem with hit points. They think, you know, on, a, on some level, adding hit points to an army increases the combat rating of that army. Uh, and therefore, it must be a good idea to add hit points to an army, even if there's zero attack added. Uh, but in reality, this is not the case. Alright, so this is awesome. Uh... General Caritas probably thinks that he got one over on me by taking out that outpost. But in reality, that outpost, it wasn't doing anything. I just put that there to guide where I wanted my roads to go uh, for later in the game. And since those roads are already built, I don't care. In fact, I'm thinking about plopping a city down up here, which I think I can do. Uh, I'll check that after this battle. Uh, but basically, this is totally catching them by surprise, I'm guessing. Uh, they probably thought they had waltzed through my territory. Pioneer. What? Oh, whoops, no, that can't be right. Mage. Alright, this is something that bothers me. Uh, the back edge of this tile doesn't always show where the mage is at, and then right here I'm getting pioneer pop-up, and I'm not anywhere near the pioneer. Uh, if I go straight over, it's pretty much fine, but most people are going to play their battles like this. Because it's more fun to watch. I mean, watch this. I don't know why I haven't been doing this before, but I guess I was just too busy narrating. <laughs> oh, that's fun to watch. Alright, uh, where was I? I'm going to take a shot at this mage again. Okay, Master Bow. Take out the mage. Pow pow. Alright, final shot. Oh, thanks for playing. Oh, they just tried to cast a spell and resisted. Or, and I resisted. So, I'll, uh. Move to the front. Arvin, this is my cavalry. Move to the front. It's only three mana to cast haste. You pretty much can't go wrong with casting haste on a hero. It's a nice little addition, considering how nerfed initiative is now. But it's a good balance. Oh, this guy isn't fully healed yet. I didn't realize that. I don't have a life mage with me, I don't think. Oh, wait. She's a life mage. Uh, Titan's Breath, Thunderstrike Storm, Scaring Fog, Haste, Guardian Wind, Escape. Alright, level 1... Ah, uh, maybe not. It doesn't necessarily need to have it, but it would be nice if level 1 had... Uh... Oh, this is another problem. Casting Time 1... 
Oh, okay, maybe this will work. But I can do five lightning damage to all units here. Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. I was thinking that maybe it wasn't right that uh, that lightning strike doesn't have a casting time, but it's a great first strike move, and it does put you in extreme danger if you're using a hero to do that with. Huh, this... Elizabeth... Betta. Look at all those losses. I mean, she's got every single one. Minus 25% accuracy, uh... Plus 25% mana cost, that's brutal. Chip Tooth, I should poison her just because. Uh, flesh Wound, Broken Nose, Broken Leg. Missing Ear, I don't think Missing Ear does anything, I think it's just like a, an artistic option. Uh, I think she's got long hair though, right? Afraid of Dying, that's fair. Oh, but actually this is nice. Afraid of Dying only works for uh, melee, I think. Oh, no, it it used to. Oh, no, that's Clumsy. Clumsy only works in melee. So you can be Clumsy and use a bow, or be a mage. It won't affect you. Typhoid Fever, that's always fun. Uh, rotting Wound. Two Rotting Wounds, that's... Wow. If they showed the uh, injuries on the units, this... this Elizabetta would look totally undead right now. This is hilarious. Tis but a scratch, amnesia, hallucinations. Huh, hallucinations is a really cool one. Minus uh, three to spell resistance, but plus three to spell mastery. That's exactly the kind of thing we need, is injuries that decrease something you might want, but increase something you might want. So, it could work out for you. Uh, the trade-off could work out for you, but... In general, it is going to have a drawback. Like pneumonia, increased damage from cold. I wish I had my uh, frost mage here. She would have some fun with this. Anyways, back to the battle. Master bows are going to kill your spears. <laughs> it's a little late to cast Obscuring Fog, but that's probably the only option that hero has. Not a very powerful unit. So I'll go here, attack there. Hmm. That guy's rather slow. I need to get him a mount. I don't know why I haven't yet. Ooh, actually, if I put a, a horse under him, uh, he'll be able to wear heavier armor without getting the initiative penalty. I might just do that this turn. It's pretty rare that I fight battles in my own territory. It's a huge advantage. Usually I'm fighting in the enemy territory. And one thing I'll say about the uh, AI is they really don't know how to use their fire spells or their earth spells to stop an enemy attack in their own territory. I mean, they should be hitting me with, like, really damaging spells uh, to stop me from gaining any advantage in their territory. But instead, they just let me waltz right through whenever I want. I've never been hit by Pillar of Flame. I've never been hit by Trimmer. Uh... The AI pretty much just rolls over as soon as you're able to free up enough units to attack them. And the last shot. Okay. So, that's that. Ooh. Earth Mage 3. It's a better boon than Adventurer's boon, really. She's my main Earth Mage, so... I probably should have been leveling her more. Let's see what I get. I noticed I already have Ray's Mountain. I don't see any new spells here. Did I already have a level 3 Earth? Level 1. Also level 3. Arvin. No Earth. That level one. All right. Well, hopefully that gives me some sort of tactical spells then. But it's really annoying that you should get one tactical, one strategic spell for everything. So you at least get something from it. I'm gonna check one more time. What are these again? 
Increase random unit stat. Nah. Increase experience. This is a nice thing. Destiny's Insight. Uh, if you get a brand new hero that's low level at, in the end game, you can boost them up to level 2 pretty quick. Although it does cost 250 mana. So yeah, I could get probably up to level 3 with the amount of mana I have. I mean, but in the end, it's not worth it. You should just save up for Spell Blast. If that's what you're going to do. Ha! This is funny. I guess he's coming back to coordinate an attack on Roddenfall, which is the proper strategic move. But it's going to cost him. So, yes, go through the unit. It's so funny that you can do that if you're uh, paying attention, but if you just allow the pathing to do it, it really doesn't work. Alright, so one, two, three, four. I'll count in my head for the sake of the video. Alright, I'm gonna go this way. Ha, huh, this is still my territory. Wait. That looks weird. Oh, this is Wildland Territory that's dark green. That was confusing. So, this guy needs to give me this bow. Uh, 14 accuracy. Holy crap, 14 accuracy? That's basically a, a free crit with every attack. I didn't realize you Longbow gave that much accuracy. So right now I'm doing <laughs> uh, 14 attack. This is a hugely better bow. Wow. Requires what, level 9? Uh, oh, I see. I didn't see it before because it grays it out if you're too low level. And it uh, it's already a pretty thin icon. That's why I couldn't see it before. Oh well. Plus 5 strength, minus 3 dexterity. Yeah, trade and equip. Now, what's his attack? Attack 30, 66% through. And it's pierce. Yeah, nothing better than that. Alright. Oh, right. I need to make sure these guys are all on horses. Or wargs. So the stone cutter. He can't shop here. So this uh, is a user interface bug then, because it's showing this as my territory, but I can't shop here, which means that uh, the com uh, the game correctly recognizes that the outpost has been destroyed. Uh, it just hasn't gotten rid of the uh, influence art yet. Uh, it's unfortunate. But I'm going to rebuild the outpost next turn, so it's not a huge deal for me. So we've got two attacks and a third one. Next round. That mason there finally. Pioneer, novice spear. I'm going to send these two novice spears back to this city. Alright, so next turn I'll have reinforcements there, just in case I need it. I'm a little worried about having General Caritas attack that city. In fact, I'm going to put some buffs on this mage. Oh, alright, well I haven't done this in a while. This will be, uh, what? Oh, smart computer. It's in the Wildlands, technically, so I can't cast any strategic spells on them. Uh... But I can make sure I have regeneration on my hero. How much extra mana am I getting? Ten extra mana. Alright. Trimmer, cloud walk. Ah, yes. Anointed by fire. That is an important spell, because that'll basically allow me to uh, do crowd control. 
uh, and I think for almost certain it only has casting time of two from Anointed by Fire. That's what I've been experiencing anyways. Uh, Blessing of Restoration. Definitely going to cast that. Need to be able to heal. Oh, okay, that's annoying. Blessing of Restoration shouldn't be using the Firebell, or Fireball uh, effect. I guess they still have some work to do there. What else do I got going? I should be able to scout in Yolan Town. Be nice to know how soon I'm being attacked on these guys. That's the thing that I always do. As soon as I'm able to start effectively defending uh, some of this crap, uh, I start building scouts so that I can see how far the enemy is away from me, and I can actually use some of those scouts to draw their units away from my cities. So a lot of effective things you can do with scouts if you use them right. And the AI doesn't use them right. Uh, they just put them in an army. Like this guy. Uh, which, you know, you could make the argument that uh, he's helping and he's fodder and he's increasing their sight range, but I don't see why sight range matters if you don't have the units to back it up. So, yep, there's an archer dead. Uh, take out the spearman. Take out the spear maiden. Hmm, huh, didn't get the kill. Alright, send my fodder out. Wait for the attack. Ha! Now, that's still a pretty powerful spear, even with one guy. This is going to devastate them, though. Hmm. Who do I attack now? These guys. I always attack the guys with the most health. They're not a danger yet, but I'm going to win this. It doesn't really matter what happens. Sweet. Okay, so I have an unexpected army here. Uh, Retrice's army. Uh, let's check out her stats. Oh! Level 7, only one injury. Less dodge, which means I can crit her really easily. She's got an ice spear. Not the best weapon in the world. Uh, right, it's 3 defense... Path of Defender. She's a Mancer. That means... Uh, oh, no, I would think she'd have better intelligence than that as a Mancer. Anyway, she's got 14 spell resistance. Earth and Water. And what's this? She has a counterattack. That's interesting. Uh, yeah, Path of Defender. Counterattack's really awesome. Uh, for the uh, Path uh, Progression mod that I'm making right now, I have... Uh, sword Satan unit that basically uh, has to use a two-handed weapon uh, to get some of the bonuses that he needs and some of, and to be able to use his abilities, uh, but he gets a counterattack and a pretty high dodge, so you're going to get hit a lot, uh, but you'll have enough health probably uh, by the time you get to that level to defend against uh, high attacks and. Uh, then you get a counterattack each time, so each unit's only going to get one hit on you. You just need to make sure you can absorb the damage. Alright. So, I'm going to rebuild this outpost for the simple necessity of being able to shop. Hmm... I probably shouldn't just keep all these bows. 640, 540. Yeah, I'm never going to use the beast bow again. It's 270 in the bank. Ignis bow. 320 in the bank. I feel like these scimitars uh, are too valuable to sell. But look at all the stuff I can buy if I do sell it. Also, I can put my economy at zero taxes. The peasants love that. 
Okay, so let's think about this. You can't use a shield. You get a strength bonus. It only has 11 attack. And a huge weight requirement. I don't know. I'd say it's good for trained units, but not great for heroes. Considering I have so many other options. Uh, never going to use this leather carace again. Oh, and I have a drake tooth to sell. That's solid 30 gildar. Alright, so now I've got 3,000 gold. Uh, stone cutter needs a mount, as I recall. Oh, son of a bitch has been hiding a venom sack. Alright, not going to use a chain shirt. Uh, he needs full armor upgrade, really. The one thing that I will reload on is if uh, sometimes you can't see what you're clicked on in this stuff, and sometimes you'll accidentally sell something super valuable, and you can't. There's no buyback, uh, which there probably should be. Um, oh, look at this! They have a trade shop panel right here. I didn't even see that. That's a really good user interface advantage. Uh, good job, guys. Okay, so the first thing he needs is the rest of his armor. What am I researching? Heavy armor? Gosh, it'd almost be better to wait to equip him until I can get the champion's armor. Eh. Screw it. Sometimes I wait, but since I'm at war with a pretty powerful opponent, waiting might just get me killed. Alright, what kind of cloak does he need? Fire defense, cold resistance. What's his defense? Defense is 30. Nah, 4 dodge is going to matter more than anything else. I like that we have some good variety in capes now, too. Health regeneration, that could work. Hmm... Ah, yes, he needs a horse. What is his encumbrance right now? Oh, actually, his strength is so high, he can probably ride a rorg. I like that there's a difference between wargs and horses now. Uh, buy and equip. So that'll give him plus one initiative, no prone, and an extra move. That's pretty huge. Alright, so he's using uh, Persephone's crown. It's saving me a lot of mana, so I can't take that. Uh, spider Venom Sack. I'll trade that later. So this is the thing that I don't know. Will I be able to equip another item? Because Warg is showing up as equipment. And I think you can only have four pieces of equipment. Uh, but I'd really like to give him some extra attack. Or a Troll Charm, actually. Meh, I'll just uh, trade that to her. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm only going to be equip equipping these things. So what's this? Plus one fire attack? Unequip. Nigga. Shop. Lady Irene. Yeah, this is kind of worthless. Uh, spider sack, gonna be worthless. Compass, plus one sight. Uh, I hate to throw that away. Uh, but really, at this point in the game, it's nice that... I mean, I could make a ranger uh, hero that's low level that just wants to go around and have high moves in sight, but it doesn't make sense uh, for this point in the game for her. And I think that, uh, yeah, these will increase my range attack. So, cold attack, I need a fire attack, yeah. Or, is there anything else I need? She's wearing leather carace. Ooh, alright. I'll put her in monk's robe. Uh, which is plus two initiative, which is huge for uh, an assassin. 
I should probably have some assassin gear in the magical category. Assassins are really sort of like the odd man out as far as equipment goes. There's no, there's not a lot of equipment that's specifically made to say, hey assassin, use a bow and be really good at this game. It's mostly just uh, pretending that they don't exist. That's plus four dodge, that's plus three dodge. Oh, but that's... Nah, blindness isn't a very good spell. Let's sell this cloak. Alright, I'm getting low on money. I'll keep that carace, though, just in case. And... Buy and equip. Yes. She's all about the amulets, I guess. And then warg. What kind of warg do I want for her? She seems like a dark warg kind of girl. Yes. Alright. So she should actually have better initiative than some units. Oh, what's this? Banishing mace? Oh, I kind of want one of those. Oh, well. Alright. So we've got... Uh, Nagash... Arvin. What's Arvin doing? He's got some stuff to sell. Oh, he's got a war horse. That's pretty major. Dress blade. Kite shield. Hmm. I feel like there's more that can be done with him for 1600. Oh, well. Let's see what other people are doing. Uh, oh, I'll sell... She's got uh, some pretty pathetic gear. But she's got the volcanic gauntlets. Really, it makes more sense for her to have uh, a dragon hide cloak for 100% fire resistance. 480. Uh, that's pretty expensive. And I don't recall the enemy ever using fire attacks, actually. They don't use a lot of... Uh, fireballs or anything like that, because they haven't gotten a lot of heroes to high levels yet. Uh, which I assume is something that'll be fixed as the game moves on. But, at the very least, buy the girl a shield. That'll really increase her odds of surviving battles. Oh, and her weapon, although it's very light, is not very good, so... Uh, I'll give her slag tooth. a much better weapon. Uh, 18 cutting attack, 1.5 crit molt, plus 6 to crit, plus 4 to initiative. Although I think she has must, minus 25% accuracy. Oh, also, since she doesn't have very good equipment, I can give her the compass and still get the sight bonus. Alright, well that's enough for now. I want to keep some of this money in case I find another hero to recruit. Alright. Hmm. I didn't have any moves yet. I only got one, two, three moves. That's that can't be right. Oh well. There are enemies in my territory. Good. I love it when there's enemies in my territory. This is nothing I dream about that makes me happier at night than having enemies in my territory. Pillar of Flame worked for the Hebrews, and it'll work for me. Whoa. Spear Maiden didn't take a lot of damage on that. Eight spell resistance. Hmm. Oh, well. Oh, that's right. I only have one fire shard. Uh... I'm losing my mind here. Where did it go? Huh. I can only cast it once, because I don't have enough fire mages. Oh, well. It's not a huge deal. I think they're all just gunning for this gold mine. Uh, which honestly isn't that detrimental to my strategy if they take it. Uh, but just to let them know who's boss, I'm going to attack them. Never hurts to take the initiative. Well, it's not true. It's always a risk to take the initiative. 
but it can pay off. They cast Obscuring Fog. They cast Guardian Wind. Wow. Okay, so... They figured out how to defend against my archers. Uh, heal, haste, fireball. Hmm. Fireball's not even really worth it in this case, but I'm going to do it. Oh, it says casting time three. Maybe I got three turns in a row before, and I just thought it was a bug. Oh, well. I'm going to cast uh, haste on myself. And then cast, uh... Let's check out his spell resistance. He's got a really high spell resistance. So I'll cast slow on... Jagnir? They've all got really high spell resistance. What's my spell mastery? Only 13? Yeah, okay. Not gonna be casting spells on them. Oh, but Obscuring Fog always works for both sides. Okay. So basically I just have to hope that my archers can do some sweet damage here. But Guardian Wind might make it a little more difficult. I'm not really sure. I have some good bonuses to accuracy. But theirs is mostly a uh, hero army. Not a great one, though. Looks like they haven't been prioritizing, uh, like, uh, equipment and stuff. They've just been taking what's given to them by battles and stuff. Uh, but on the bright side, they're decreasing their, decreasing their dodge and stuff by casting giant growth and then not moving forward. So that's an advantage for me. Oh, that's right. She is an ice mage, which means she can do this. Pew pew. Boom. All right. Only six damage. Wow. Oh, he's got 19 defense. So that's their major unit there. Although he's got a really low health. Let's check him out again. Jagnir, Constitution nine, level eight. Yeah, he's got too many injuries to be a valid endgame unit. Uh, which is unfortunate, because I generally don't get injuries. Uh, the AI needs to be better about winning battles. I think. Oh, he's definitely got some health going. Hmm. Well, I'll focus my archers on him, because... He also has an incredible strength bonus right now. And then I can cast haste on my archers. Hmm. Nice. All right. Let's see how my experiment fare against General Caritas. Probably should have cast Obscuring Fog twice, but I don't think it's going to matter. When you have a Sovereign that's this high level, yeah, he's going to do 85 critical damage no matter what, which means he got 10 more accuracy uh, than the unit he attacked. I'm just going to have to sacrifice some spearmen. Not a huge deal. I have lots more. And they're really cheap to make. You'd be surprised. It's like uh, three turns. Oh, crap! He's getting health from killing units. And I think he has uh, some pretty good regeneration. Wow. I really need to research you longbows. Master Bow is starting to show its uh, lackings here. Huh. And he's got counterattack, which is unfortunate for me. Alright. 
So there goes 50% of my enemy's mana. That's a pretty big win, if you think about it. Huge win. Ha! A spear and an axe. Terrible loot. Yeah. That's too bad for him. These guys were smart. They would turn around. But I don't think they are. Smart. Alright. Well, that seems to be the brunt of the Capitar invasion. So I'm going to take a break. Make a new video later. Hopefully somebody's enjoying this. Bye.